Hi, welcome back to another edition of Max and Nikki 1000th Time Reactions. On this edition, we're going to be listening to The Chain by Fleetwood Mac for our 1000th time. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, uh, but before we do, I just want to mention, like we always do, we have another YouTube channel called Max and Nikki on which we cover oldies tunes, jazz standards, and originals in that vein. And we got comedy videos as well on there. So but check it out if you wish to. But mm-hmm. for right now, let's take a listen to The Chain by Fleetwood Mac for our 1000th time.
It's a great song. Great song, The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. Mm -hmm. You know, Um, I'm sure, you know, there's tons of Fleetwood, like there's some Fleetwood Mac diehards out there. And, you know, when I was younger, I wasn't as into Fleetwood Mac. Right. But, But now, I mean... Late in the past few years, I've really gotten into Fleetwood right, Mac, and right, I've, right. I mean, I've always heard their music, and 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 I, I mean, I I've really heard their, truly, you know, it's, it was on the radio, a lot, well, always yeah. on the radio, but I, I truly understand these days why Rumors is one of the biggest selling albums of all time. Mm-hmm. It really has a lot of hits on it, and sure, but you know what's interesting about this song is it wasn't released as a single. Oh, I didn't know that actually. Yeah, but yeah. no, but what I was going to say is. There's not actually a whole lot melodically to this song, but I think what really keeps it uh, going is the the arrangement and and just kind of this yeah, the arrangement of the structure of it too as well. You well, know? you know, and, also and, all, and how the instruments come in and 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 boy, you know, Lindsey Buckingham's a guitar work on that. It's sure, Lindsey good, Buckingham you know? is you know I think a lot of people know this by now that he is really a consummate guitarist. Not, but he's also a finger picking guitarist too. You know, uh, when he's playing electric, I believe so. I believe uh, so. Well, I think he, he definitely finger picked for sure. But always, though, um, he's there's a song I'm that he sure does. That, but... um, he does it as live shows, right? Where uh, he's finger- it's on it's on this album. It's no, uh, it's it's not on this album. There's yeah, it it's, is. A, there's a song that he does that's on a, a album of theirs from the '80s, I believe. No, no. Well, there's a song on this album. But, um, no, no, that's uh, not. What I, is it? I wasn't going to uh, say. Oh, uh, 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 give me one second. But there's a there's a song um, on another album that he often does at his live shows. I'm forgetting the name of it right now, but he um, his finger picking work on it while he's singing at the same time is just it's quite extraordinary. It's it's um, it's genius level work that he does on the guitar and vocals at the same time, um, and I, I think that's just. That's yeah. Uh, you're thinking never of going back. Never again. going back again. But it's on. It's on rumors. I. That's not the song I'm oh, thinking well, about. Well, he's he is singing and really hard guitar picking work. It's just him on this that song actually. No, but there's another Very song, song on, 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 on one of their albums from the '80s that um, the album version is with the whole band. But okay. he does it at his live shows as a solo song. No, he does this as a, a solo too at his live shows. No, I know, I know, but that's that's not what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. talking about this other song that's really cool that he does. Anyway, um, look, the point is that he's a great guitarist and he's mm-hmm. great at finger picking, um, and he's a great soloer too. But also, what's cool about this song is that you have the three voices of Christine McVie or McVie, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, and Lindsey Buckingham and, and Stevie, Stevie Nicks, Nicks yeah. all singing together. And, and they I'm just all, looking at it right of, now. They, this was written by the whole band, actually. No, I already knew that. Oh, I, I already, already knew that. that. You didn't have to look at that for just, just to, okay. to say okay. it. I already knew all that. Why well, did not know well, that? Um, what's cool is that they each have unique sounding voices, you know? I mean, there's a point where Christine McVie or McVie, um, their, her voice comes in like from the background and I could tell that it's her, you know? You can really pinpoint each person's voice very uniquely. Well, what's you know? kind of cool about this band is uh, they all contributed, you know, uh, well, at least definitely Lindsey Buckingham, Christine McVie or McVie, I'm not sure which one it is, um, and, and, and Stevie Nicks, uh, they all contributed writing and being lead vocalists on, on sure. You know, pretty, yeah. In a pretty equal amount of kind of way. And actually. you know, they all, and um, all of their songs were hits. They all too. had, uh, hit songs on this album, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, Christy McVie had don't stop and don't then, stop, you, know, you know, you can go your own way by Lindsay Buckingham. Mm-hmm. Of course, dreams, dreams. Is, that's a good one. We'll might be the cover. biggest, might be the biggest hit off of the album. And that's obviously Stevie Nicks. Well, but, is it the biggest hit? I mean, I think that's in your impression of that now based on what's played I mean, on the radio. Look, but don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. It's definitely played in a lot in like a lot of media. No, actually, don't get me know? wrong. Uh, not not to not, say not to be confused with the pretenders to get me wrong, but uh, but I actually uh, I mean I I prefer dreams though personally sure but, but me I'm too. just saying don't stop is used a lot but I will say actually I do think that the chain is my favorite song on this album oh really I I actually 
kind of think uh, never going back again never going back sure yeah, no that's I think really that's good a really too. good song i just and not, i love yeah. the the chain and you know everybody mentions this but just that whole breakdown at the end where the bass comes in and you know the bass comes in and then well the drums are starting off and then the bass comes in and then you hear that slow guitar solo come in where he's he's really wailing on the guitar you know well i love i love that kind of breakdown at the end and you can see again you can see how this uh derived from a, a jam session, you know? Probably. I, I think that was the case. Well, if that's the case, I But, you I know, usually disagree. when a song is I written by uh, the full band and the full band gets credit for a song, in any instance, usually it is each person contributed to the, to the song somehow. Uh, or at, uh, in some cases, not all, always, but... Yeah, well, but sometimes there might be an agreement with the band saying like, hey, sure. if one of us gets, if one of us writes it, we're all going to get credit. I mean, you, you never know. But. Sure. I believe with Vampire Weekend, actually, I think usually the full band gets the credit That's for writing true. songs. That's not true. No, if you look it up, they, even though we know that Ezra Koenig and, and, Rostam. and, and Rostam, well, at least for the first three albums, Rostam, they each... that's his name, right? Yeah, they each traded off you know, or they they each both wrote all the songs you know but well anyway uh this is a really great song um and uh that Fleetwood was our Mac. 1000th time listening to it that'll be it for this video uh thanks for tuning in and uh don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ding that post notification bell to find out about more max and nikki reactions keep tuning in <laughs>